today um, we left our campsite in Pagosa Springs, Colorado. We were headed to Silverton, um, but I did a Google search, search <laughs> search, um, trying to see if we could find a place to take showers. Um, I mean, obviously we've been in, like kind of washing up at campsites, but it's like freezing cold. Anyways, Durango has a community recreation center that is like super nice. So we're gonna pay seven bucks and we're gonna have access, not just to warm showers, but hot tubs, swimming pools. It's like $14. Yeah, so we just uh, so anyways, hang out for a little bit. Yeah, we like packed our backpacks up and we're about to head in. Yo, look how cool this place is. Um, back there is a hot tub. Pretty sure this is like heated, not like a hot tub, but pretty warm. And then all this fun stuff. I'm, I'm like dating with love this place. There's like a little castle, some slides. And then there's a pool where people are doing laps. Guys, <laughs> that was life changing. Life changing. I feel so clean. They're the best oh $16 gosh. I've ever spent in my life. Y'all, that was so cheap. Like we already were like, dude, I would pay like $15 just for a shower. This was like $16. It was seven each to get in and then a dollar to rent a towel. So. Yeah, can we get the pool, the hot tub? 16 bucks. This is amazing. Man, that was just a real treat today, folks. A real treat. So now we are, um, I think we're gonna go eat some pizza at a place that Zeb's parents had been to before. Um, and they said it was amazing. I'm hoping my hair will dry. I'm just having to air dry it. I didn't bring my blow dryer on this trip. Anyways, we're gonna go find some food. All right, Brooklyn couldn't resist the cheese curds. And uh, they did not disappoint. Mm. And there's season, there's like a, um, like a buffalo dry rub. Just like Dusted on, on Dusted. there. That's what they call it. Yeah, very one. good. Then he brought out some ranch and some, he called it Cuban aioli. Yeah. And uh, it's very good to dip it in, so. <laughs> and then oh, I got wow. the house root beer, which is very good. So they had a lot of different pizzas on the menu. We went with a Maui Wowie. So supposedly it has like brown sugar, like at the bottom. Yeah. And then like ham and pineapple. So we're gonna dig in. All right, we just got done eating delicious pizza. And uh, we decided to just walk down the road about 10 minutes to Alberton's to get our food for the next couple days. I feel like that's what you do when you're in the beauty of Colorado. You just walk, you know? Yeah. And it's perfect outside, literally perfect. All right, we made it to our last destination. In Silverton, Colorado. Silverton, Colorado. We are again right by a river, which is awesome. And there's trees all around us. It's definitely um, closer quarters than we were last time. Yeah, there's, like there's a campsite up there that was nice, but there's somebody right across from it. Yeah, there's probably about three yeah. people down that way. But this is like the very end, end. of the drive. so. So we took it. Okay, so we are here at the Anvil Dispersed um, Camping Area, which was highly rated on Campendium. Um, just by unpacking, our observation is that there is way too many people here. There are way too many people here. Um, but we walked up the road and I just wanna show you guys this because this is gorgeous. Look at these views. Views on views. Views on views on views, guys. Okay, so I just want you guys to understand because all the areas that we have been, like we are literally far away from other people. So this is the entrance that I just showed you with the Anvil sign. And these are people camping. Now, this is Anvil, and I believe on the other side of this little river, those people over there are staying on Sultan. So I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. But even like coming back here, y'all, there's people everywhere. We're way back there in the back. Um, so 
So anyways, we're just kind of maybe looking for something a little more dispersed than this. We shall see. Head northeast on County Road 7, Forest Road 585, toward US 550 North, then to US 550 North. We'll start again. Well, we are officially on the move from Silverton, Colorado. Um, as you know, we stayed at the Anvil Dispersed Campground, and um, it's highly rated, but it has definitely been like our least favorite of the trip, just because everybody was so close to us. Also, it poured rain last night. Y'all, all of our stuff is pretty much just thrown in here. Like, things had to be done differently than they were. It's like such a mess yeah. um so zeb is already really worried about where we go tonight like setting it all up because it's going to be so dirty um Money but we were money. supposed to stay another night here but we just don't want to so the crazy part about today is we are driving to ure colorado because everybody says like it's a trip that you have to take sometime in your lifetime and we're so close we're yeah. 37 minutes so we're going to make the drive on million dollar highway um, and then once that's over, we don't know where we're going. <laughs> that's the beauty of this life, baby. Yeah, yeah. It's total adventure yeah. here. We really don't know um, where we're going. We could go back to Colorado, um, get closer to being back home. We could go through New Mexico. There's so many options. Uh, but for now, we're just gonna take in the beauty of Million Dollar Highway and we'll figure the rest out later. Guys, made it to. Ooh. Ure. Ure. I don't want to say it wrong. I looked up the pronunciation since we uh, pronounce Zapata Zapata. Okay. Sure. Okay. Hooray! What do you say? Hooray! Hooray for Ure! Hooray for Ure! Okay, but we're just walking this way, seeing, checking everything out. So. It's gorgeous here, y'all. Definitely. And we think we may have found a campsite along the way. Right off a million dollar highway. You guys know it a little bit. We'll try yeah. to get back. We're gonna maybe try to find some food here. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, it's lunchtime. And we have decided on Red Mountain Brewing. They had some uh, chicken tenders on their menu. That just sounds real good right now. Hoping it's open. Guess what? We're not eating here. You don't open till one. That's like a whole nother hour. We walked really far too. My vote, I wanna go back to the car. I wanna go score an awesome campsite. And I wanna cook some yame fajitas. Okay, so we were walking back to our car and we found this restaurant Gold Belt. Um, we were apprehensive because we thought it was just pizzas because we just had that yesterday. Um, but they have way more on their menu than that. So yeah. We're gonna enjoy some lunch, right, Zip? There you are. Yes, <laughs> I am. I'm very excited. Maybe get a Dutch pepper. Hopefully, they have one. Yeah. Okay, so Zeb is seasoning our lunch. So these are like fried zucchini sticks with homemade ranch. They literally just changed my life. I'm just gonna tell you that right no. now, <laughs> babe. You're not ready for it. I'm we telling just got you. Chicken strips. Yeah, inside. chicken strips and a yummy Dutch pepper. We're all set, man. We're happy. <laughs> Body was probably on my head. Um, our restaurant choice was. So good. Um, so our bellies are full and now we've got to go find a campsite for the night. <laughs> I feel pretty confident we passed a lot. It's just like, there's one that we really wanted. Oh, there's a Jeep oh, right no. there. Almost just died. No, we didn't. Anyways, we've got to find a campsite. We don't have one secured yet, um, but it's only one o'clock. So I feel confident. All right, so we're feeling adventurous which is crazy because we just ate a whole lot of um, fried food, but we're about to hike. How do you feel about it? Ready? Uh, Semi-ready. Yeah, same. 
Okay, so we are on our way up. Um, it was only $5 each. We can already hear it. Um, you can see the river down there. Our conclusion to that adventure was it wasn't worth the 10 bucks. Now Zeb's parents have been and it like blew their minds. So all I can think of is that we're just kind of in the off season of it where it's not running as much because you can't really see it and you can't they won't let you back there. But the next part of this is an adventure. Guys we gotta go find somewhere to stay for the night. So let's go. Zeb is having driver's anxiety right now. <laughs> we're so Because like you dead. fall off and You're like done. it's over. You are. <laughs> We found our campsite. Dude. And, and like uh, we are the this is like the only campsite on this road. We just yeah, we're the only ones here. So let me show you. So there's a little fire pit. So check it out. That's our view. If you look right, hold on, hold on, right there, that's million dollar highway. So we just have views on views all the way around us. And there is a river down there. We'll go check out in just a second. This is our view for the night. And then up there, some snow on top of that mountain. It's official. Campsite number. I say we found the best campsite whatever like close this is. to Ure, Colorado. Yeah, this is great. I mean, our view behind us, I don't know if you can see it. It's really nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, you do hear the people off Million Dollar Highway, but Which it's is not just bad. Like right and I there. think later on it'll. Die yeah, down. I think it's said to die down once we're ready to go to sleep. But uh, yeah, we got all set up. Um, we're freezing. It's cold. The yeah, the temperature's dropping. definitely dropping. Light rain starting. Yeah, it's starting to rain. As so we're recording this. I'm really glad we uh, we set up the tent, and uh, that's our setup the for easy tonight. Up tonight. Yep, that's what I meant. Easy up. We're not gonna do the tent. And then uh, I think we're gonna make some fajitas. Mm -hmm. 